Hi, this is Jenny from Teach Me GIS. We get a lot of good questions in class, so I thought I'd share a couple of them with you guys here in this little video. The first one I got asked recently is, how do I go about putting uh, nice symbols in my legend? If I go over here to my layout, I've got this legend in my layout for these flow lines, but they're all straight lines, and I want this to look like water, so I want it to be a squiggly line. So in ArcMap, we used to just right-click on the legend and set some properties in there. But in Pro, what you can do is you just right-click on the layer over here in the table of contents, and you go to the symbology, and you actually set the symbol out here. See? And as soon as you choose the symbol, it updates both in your table of contents and in your legend. And you have these special symbols for lines and for polygons, right? So for example, if I turn on, whoops, if I turn on the cities, for example, and I want to configure its st patch style, I'll open up the legend. Now where you have to go for these single symbol legends is you want to hit this back arrow, go all the way back to the beginning, and change the patch style in here. Okay, so that was how do I make those fancy symbols over there in the legend for the little patches. How do I copy a style from a layer file? So my buddy down the hall has a great style for her flow lines. How can I make mine match? So what I'm going to do, so I can keep these original blue flow lines, I'm going to copy the layer and paste it back up here in the map. And I'll turn off the blue ones. The, their first ones. Now I have my other layer and I want to copy the style from a layer file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to symbology again. And it's it's not obvious to see where the button it is, but it's way up here under the hamburger button, <laughs> also called the pancakes, or better known as the more options button. And I'll just go to import symbology up here. And then I'll browse out. So actually that opens a geoprocessing pane, right? It's a geoprocessing tool which is cool because that means you can use it in Model Builder. But if you notice, I just really, it, it, it already knows my input layer, the one I'm trying to change, and then I just browse for the symbology layer that I want to import from. So I have a flow line where these rivers are color-coded based on uh, runoff from the surrounding area. And I just run, and then I can close the little geoprocessing pane when it's done. And I'll close my, oh, you can see the symbology was updated. And by the way, it also remembered what patch style I had chosen in that other layer file. They're a bit goofy, but that's what I chose. <laughs> and so now you can see the areas where it, um, color the, the river's color-coded by their runoff amounts. That symbol's a bit hard to see, so let me change the color there. Make that a little bit darker. That didn't help much. A little bit darker. There we go. All right, so that was how do you import a style from one layer file onto an existing layer file. There you go. Uh, there's lots of cool stuff you can learn if you come to our classes. We have Intro to Pro, Intermediate Pro, Pro Quick Start, which helps you migrate from ArcMap to Pro, and a really cool editing class, which will show you how to use this map topology to edit your features and keep them really clean. What I mean is, if I turn on these towns, you can see this boundary between these towns. Suppose this guy on the west acquires a little bit of that town on the right, and I need to modify that boundary. Come to our editing class and learn how to use this map topology to do exactly that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a reshape but instead of reshaping one polygon or the other, I'm going to reshape this common edge. See, I'll select the edge, I'll draw in the new shape, and just like that, I've modified the common boundary, making sure there are no overlaps and no gaps in those guys. It just means I need to use map topology that's built in with ArcGIS Pro at the basic standard and advanced levels, and it can be done with both uh, shape files and geodatabase feature classes and editable feature services. So there you go. Questions that came up recently in class and 
a little freebie about map topology. I hope you'll join us at some upcoming classes. You can check out our schedule at teachmegis.com. Thanks for listening.